the question says if fx is this and hx is this then which of the following options are incorrect so option a is talking about some another function that is the summation of these both and we have to decide whether this function is bijective or not so qx is fx plus hx so this is basically our quadratic equation which will be having a parabolic graph since our coefficient of x square is positive it will be an upward parabola our d that is b square minus 4ac comes out to be a uh, 5 that is again positive therefore i will be having two distinct roots fine so the two conclusions i have made till now now the third thing you have to find the roots to have a, a precise graph and we find roots by this formula minus b plus minus under root d upon 2a and you will notice that one uh, one root lies between 0 and 1 and one root lies between minus 1 and minus 2. So we got a graph of qx. Now we have to comment whether this graph is a bijective function or not. And please note that our uh, domain is a real number. Therefore, entire x-axis is included when we are talking about a bijective function. Now, what do we mean by this? So, bijective functions are the surjective or injective. Dono ho. Injective means one-to-one -one and surjective means onto. Onto ka matlab co-domain is equals to range and one to one matlab the graph that follows the vertical line and horizontal line test both. Since this is a quadratic equation, this is a function, therefore you are a vertical line test to ye pass karega. You draw vertical line anywhere, uh, the graph will be intersected at only one point, therefore vertical line test to ye pass karega. Now let's talk about the horizontal line. And you have horizontal line mark the job. So you have to pass karega. Why? Because this is cutting our graph at two points. Therefore, apni horizontal line jo tha, test that it is not passing. Therefore, option A is wrong, and similarly, option C is wrong. Why? Because dono hi dono bijective function ki baat kar rahe the. Bas inhone range different kar diya tha. So, the range is 0.752 infinity. So, this is the horizontal line. It's still cutting the graph at 2 point. And the range is minus, uh, minus 1.25 to infinity. So, minus 1.25 is here. So, this is the infinity. So, line it will be cutting the graph at 2 point. Therefore, option A and C both are wrong. Now let's move towards option B and it's saying about a composite function. So let's calculate it. So kya hai? F, just my F, H, X. So this is what we have to calculate. Chik hai. So basically my function hai F, just my mujhe H, X dalna hai X ki jaga. So my function tha X square. But mujhe X ki jaga kya dalna hai? H, that is X minus 1. So this is what I got here. Now basically my function is f which I have to value this value in x ki So this is what I will get So here powers to multiply jayenge, So here I will get x minus 1 ki power 4 Multiplied by hx that is nothing but x minus 1 So when I multiply karunge, so it will be x minus 1 raised to the power 5 So this is what we got and bingo LHS, RHS are equal Therefore option B is correct now let's talk about f of h. Yeah, my f is x square. Just me, mujhe h ki value dalni so that is x minus one. So ye bhi a quadratic equation hai, right? And since this is a quadratic equation, it can't be injective. It can't be one to one by because this doesn't pass the horizontal line test. Therefore, the only option of this question is option number b. That's all in this question. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment down below.